business. Hello. What is up guys, you're at the Go. it's your boy B back with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys follow me at educator underscore underscore isolate. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brandon Jones and I specialize in helping you make an extra income. Guys, so today we're gonna be talking about how people, not, not, not one person, not two people, people, I'm talking about a masses are making around $2,000 a week flipping phones. I'm not going on YouTube to sit there and show you a, a desk full of used, old, refurbished phones, okay? I'm not going to try and show you phones in my trunk. I'm not trying to show you phones in general. I mean, I have phones, but I'm not trying to show you. I actually want to show you income proof. I want to show you actually not my income proof, other people's income proofs. And you can tell it ain't mine because mine would be a little bit better quality. I apologize for the quality of the screenshot you guys are going to see because the screenshot is a little blurry but you can still see all right now i have people that send phones to me and what they do is they purchase our buyers our phone flipping buyers price list when they purchase that price list that price list is going to give them the market value of devices okay now what i mean by the market value of devices i mean it's going to give you the phone flipper the bottom barrel price that you should be offering people so you should not go below x amount now, i'll give you an example the buyer's price list may say for iphone 13 do not go under 580 right so that means you already know 580 is my floor what is my ceiling what you want to do is you can add 80 dollars to a, a at 50 dollars at 100 dollars and whatever but just make sure you don't go below 580 now the reason we do that is because what happens is once you go and you send us the information to the phones that you have sold or that you have brought and you want to sell to us we then take that take all the imeis and we give it to buyers okay we offer it to these buyers now we have buyers that bid they are bidding like hey I'll pay this person X amount. I'll pay this person X amount. No, I'll pay this person X amount. They're giving you the amount that they're willing to pay you, right? Now, when you get this buyer's price list, right, you are going to be able to see at the top, we have the way that you can ship us devices, the way you can give us the device information. We give you our address. We give you everything you need so that you can be able to sell these phones fast through us. Now, what this particular person did was they went for through the phone flipping buyer price list and they basically maximize their profit by giving us their IMEIs to the devices. We don't ask you for the phones yet. We ask you for the information first. They gave us the IMEIs. Once they gave us the IMEIs, we put it into the portal where now all these buyers started to give us offers on what they would offer. Now, these buyers offered a good amount, but it was one guy in particular. And this guy, this, this one day, I guess he needed to buy phones. This one buyer was going ham, not just for this person, but for multiple. And that's how we like it, right? We like the fact that we can actually put your information out there to buyers so that buyers that are interested can give you instant offers, right? So we're not just giving you videos on, hey guys, so the way that you flip a phone is you make sure that you are getting it for less than what you are going to buy. Like, no, we're trying to make sure that we give you guys solutions. We put the money in your pocket. That is the point. So if you check out the phone flipping buyers price list, which is the link is below, you will see the income potential is unlimited. Now, I will tell you this. We are offering guys the best, the best, not, not profit, but the best customer solutions in the industry. We are giving you the opportunity 
to be able to get a phone, it doesn't matter what phone, and be able to put it in an email, be a spreadsheet, which the buyer's price this shows you, be a spreadsheet, send it to us, and then we do all the hard work. And then we send you offers back and you choose, hey, I wanna do it, hey, I don't wanna do it, right? Now, what this particular person did is they are making money from getting a residual seller. Now, I don't know, and I haven't heard a lot of people on YouTube talking about residual sellers as much as I would like. Now, what is a residual seller? A residual seller is somebody that you develop a network with or a connection with, and you are literally getting phones from them on a daily basis over and over and over and over and over and over and over, okay? I have about eight of these individuals that are literally selling phones to people over and over again. Now, how they get the phones, I can cover that in another video. But I will just say this, they are people that always have multiple devices at their vice and they literally are giving it to you. And you are paying them a steady price. So let's say for an iPhone 13 Pro Max, I pay somebody 580, right? So this person is gonna to come to me every day with three iPhone 13 Pro Maxes for 580. And let's say I'm getting um, I'm getting 650 for it, right? So now I know for a fact every day I'm making money literally flipping phones. So this is how this person that you're about to see made their income because they have residual clientele. Now, the residual clientele often brings the same phone. That's the thing. They always bring the same phones because they see what the highest amount they're able to get is. So they're like, I'm not going to settle for anything lower, basically. You know what I mean? So this particular one, um, I believe they were selling the iPhone 14 Pro Max um, and they... I'm about to pull it up right now. They were selling an iPhone 14 Pro Max black, I believe. Uh, and we it was one of our Chinese buyers and he ended up offering $660. And the person sold one, two, three, four, five of them. So that, that totaled out to $3,300, okay? So that's how much they got for that phone. And this is in a week time span. Now. They got $3,300 in a week. Now you may be like, well, Brandon, that's unrealistic. Like, I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay, let me tell you how you can, right? Let me, let me tell you how you can. Let's say you don't have no way in your mind that you can think of getting residual buyers. The best way to do it is every single time you come in contact with somebody, you drop your number, you let them know that you're a phone buyer, and you let them know that you do this all the time. A lot of people don't give that information out. We withhold that information when in reality, if we would just tell people, hey, listen, I do this every single day. Like if you have phones, bro, let me know. I do it all the time. Does everybody bite? No. Does everybody become a residual seller? No. But when they do, that is thousands of dollars in that one person. That one person. Forget going to offer rub every day and searching and that's that's little leagues. The big leagues, I'm telling you right now, where you're making three thousand dollars a week is when you're sitting there. Cause let, let's just do three thousand times four, right? Cause I want you guys to understand the potential that you can make when you're doing twelve thousand, right? 12,000 a week, literally by selling, because this is only one residual customer that she is selling these phones from. That person gave her five devices, right? So that, that just means 20 devices. That person giving 20 devices to this person, if they do that every single week, you're going to be making a great amount of money. You're gonna be making $144,000 a year just by getting five devices from one person every single week. Now. Is that realistic? Yes, it's realistic because as you get one re one residual seller, make sure you're working to get another one. We have to emphasize how important not only sellers are in general, but turning a regular seller into a residual. How do you do that? You make sure that you pay them the fair amount. Once you pay them a fair amount, listen, they are gonna keep coming back. They're gonna keep coming back. One thing I don't do though, I will say this. One thing I don't do is I don't heckle them. I don't text them. I don't do none of that. I don't be like, hey buddy, you got your phones this week? 
I don't do none of that. I let them hit me up whenever they have phones, and that's it. That's it. Because you gotta remember, you have a true value. You have the money, and the money is the value. So you have to make sure that you always uphold your image to project the value that you possess. All right, guys? So that is it, y'all. You guys can start this right now. You can start it right now. You can go on Facebook Marketplace. You can go on Offer right now and just start talking to people. I didn't say just offer people. Yeah, we make offers, but what about talking? What about talking to people, building a network? Not enough of us are doing that and it's holding us back. Start today, guys. You got this. Peace.